Good afternoon. One billion dollars. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry made his big budget proposal to City Council today. So how much money are we talking? The total is 1.2 billion to be exact, with a major focus on your safety and your children. Mayor Lenny Curry says he wants nearly two million of your tax dollars spent on mental health help in Duval schools. And First Coast News Crystal Bailey is on your side tonight following the money. And Crystal, this money means help for students. That's right, and parents I talked to are pleased to hear the city and its partners are taking mental health so seriously. This is all proposed right now, but if approved, 60 new mental health professionals could be at the schools. I just think it's a winning combination for Jacksonville, for the schools, for the families, for everybody. Just anything. It's possible your kids could have more access to better mental health programs soon. Especially with everything that we're hearing in the news, everything that happened with Parkland last year, there's definitely that fear there. They're going to be different from guidance counselors not hired by the schools, but they'll be working at the schools in partnership with United Way and Kids Hope Alliance. And parents like Audrea Stewart are thrilled to hear it. This now makes the ratio almost one to one, right. which means that people who are certified, qualified, and have existing relationships with the school can build on that. Kids Hope Alliance will have more than $41 million to fund their programs for at-risk youth in the community. It'll help increase the number of kids participating in Kids Hope Alliance by 10%. We're super excited because we get to invest in our schools that, need, that have the, the greatest need. Anything we can do just to help the kids, that's great. And those school resource officers will also be added to the schools. If approved, these therapists will be at the hallways of those schools by mid-fall of this coming school year. I'm reporting live from Friendship Fountain, Crystal Bailey, First Coast News.